with a seven days duration to submit application papers for the 11,200 health personnel that wish to be recruited into service getting closer. Some unemployed personnel are not leaving anything to chance to ensure that their papers are up to date. Those without valid registration certificates with the Health Professional Council of Zambia have taken advantage of the working weekend to have their papers validated. A spot check at one of the HPCZ offices in Lusaka indicated an increased number of people coming through to verify their papers. Nambezi Nankambo, a community health assistant from Kalabo district in the western province, has been volunteering for over four years and getting a chance to get employed has made her to ignore the distance and travel to Lusaka to renew her license. Some time because I was not on payroll, I have been volunteering for four years and eight months without food on payroll. So I thought maybe I won't get a job in government. So last year I didn't even renew my license. So this year when I saw the update, that's how I came to renew my license so that I also participate in the games. Others, both from Chirundu and Lusaka, have equally taken advantage of the weekend schedule to have their licenses activated. This is done as early as possible before the due date of application. And uh, yeah, let's just running. Those that have to renew their licenses, I think, are advisable to have started the licensing process from the way. And HPCZ Senior Public Relations Officer Terim Sonda says that the council has recorded increased traffic but was quick to appeal to officers not to wait for the last minute for their papers to be validated. We are on top of things as HPCZ and our appeal to practitioners out there is to ensure that they come through, we are here for them. And in the future I think let's let them not wait for the last minute. It's very important that they do the planning for the time while waiting for the other engagements. Since the UPND government unveiled its first budget in October last year, which indicated its ambitious program of recruiting 11,000 health workers by January 2022. Three months down the line, some officers are still waiting to have their documents validated at last minute, even after having cried foul of the delays by the ministry to advertise the positions. Memory Nyambe, Damon News.